Are you a turf? Wow. Take a look at this absolutely unhinged transphobic weirdo. Would you like me to move somewhere else? No, actually. You should you should tell me about being a turf. You're this. a boy, right? Don't fuck with me, because honestly, I did. I did hard. I'd like to see you try. Well then don't judge me for being a turf. I get to be who I wanna be, you get to be who you wanna be, right? If that's what you want, to be who you want to be, then I get to be who I want to be. Which is? I'm not a witch. You're not a witch. Excuse me, could you grab the manager, please? I am so terribly sorry. I'll never be escalating on how to get information on how you do apologize. So this TikTok by Lily Tino is pretty revealing about how TERFs actually are and like what's going on in their brain. Now, this is something that you're not really likely to deal with a lot in public for the most part because the overwhelming majority of people are like fine and decent normal people that don't care if you're trans. However, these people are very much like this all over the internet and occasionally you'll bump into them in real life. And it's just so wild because you see this woman just sitting here minding her own business trying to eat dinner and this like weird transphobe tries to make it like her business to police the gender of somebody that she doesn't even know. There's literally no reason for them to even be talking to each other. But she of course had to announce herself as a turf, invade this person's space and start yelling at her instead of literally just minding her own business. But this is unfortunately something that happens far too frequently in this country. And the problem is that people like these transphobic weirdos actually end up having a lot more political power because the Republican Party is fully committed to catering entirely to people like this transphobic weirdo that's harassing somebody that literally just wants to eat dinner. You see, because these transphobes have found each other on the internet and basically set up these fun little online communities where, where the entire focus is just to harass trans people and to try and drag random trans people in a public light in one way or another in order to target harassment against them. And they do very much sound like this, where you can have just a regular conversation about something and then all of a sudden they're just gonna come in and start ranting about gender. And it's very telling the language that they use because they'll say things like, you get to be what you wanna be and I get to be what I wanna be. But of course, what they wanna be is just hateful and bigoted and what trans people wanna be is left alone. So you can see how those two things might be a little bit contradictory. It's also the typical hypocrisy of the people who are very transphobic but don't wanna admit that they're transphobic and so they claim, they're like, oh yeah, you can do whatever you want, but I'm gonna be really horrible to you about it. And they pretend as though that is something that's like on equal footing. I mean, literally you can hear if you listen to these transphobes, all the time they say that this is being forced on us. This transgender thing is being forced on it. Look, it's not being forced on anyone. Nobody's gonna like call the police on you for misgendering me. That's not gonna happen. What isn't gonna happen if you misgender me is that I'm just not gonna wanna talk to you. That's not the same as like forcing anything on anybody. But ultimately this just goes to show like how much transphobia has just rotted away people's brains. Where they are literally willing to like start random confrontations in public just because trans people exist around them. And the trans woman in this video is being incredibly patient and very calmly calls her manager after dealing with so much bigotry for such a long period of time. And the truth is, that's how most trans people deal with this kind of stuff. Now obviously there are some times when people are gonna get snippy and mad, but they totally have a right to because these transphobic weirdos are being crummy and mean. But the overwhelming majority of trans people are used to getting misgendered on a pretty regular basis. And so the unfortunate reality is most trans people just kind of like roll with the punches. And despite that being the reality, because trans people know we live in a transphobic society and we're constantly having to deal with these like random moments of bigotry and ignorance, trans people are just sort of like expected to just deal with everything and be calm like this and yet somehow at the same time these right-wingers like to pretend that it's something oh we're forcing it down everybody's throats how dare they and they try and paint us as being the unreasonable ones because heaven forbid trans people go out in public and like eat dinner or something like that 